Okay, so we just dropped off our bags here at the high hostel. We're gonna go and get something to eat at this diner, kind of towards the South Station. So we're having breakfast here at the South Street Diner. Um, we just checked our bags into the high hostel. We're gonna eat breakfast and then do a tour later on today. Okay, so this is the trolley tour we're doing, the Old Town trolley tours. It's a hop on, hop off tour to all the top sites here in Boston. I already got my ticket online, but I'm just gonna verify that. I just have to wait at the bus stop. And there's the double decker trolley we're we're getting on in a minute. Here's Paul Revere's house. Um, not gonna be able to record when we go inside, so I'm just getting a shot of the outside. And it's starting to rain, so it's a good thing we're gonna go inside. Okay, we just finished inside the house. This is in the courtyard, so the front street was that way where we, I was filming. Okay, we got just done with the um, bell tower. Now we're heading down into the crypt here at the old church. Oh, and the old church is where the whole um, thing with Paul Revere, one candle, if by land, two if by sea. Inside the tomb, so they left this part open because instead of it being open casket, um, they would put a glass over this opening so that the it would contain the smell since they didn't have embalmment back then. And in this tomb, it fit about 15 caskets in here. Little claustrophobic. That noise is the uh, footsteps of everybody up on top in the church. <laughs> so this is actually Old North Church. Right there is when we went upstairs to where the bells are run. You see John Fellow is a dedicated abolitionist. He had already written an entire book on poems against slavery. The poem Paul Revere's Ride is known as And this is above the crypts, all the footsteps that we were hearing. It was an attempt to save the Union from war, and many believe the nation from the sin of slavery. It is designed to be a symbol of the 
designed to remind people that one person can make a difference in the fight for freedom. So this building right here is the old state house. This is where debates are started that started the Revolutionary War. That balcony right there is where the Declaration of Independence was first read. And it is read um, on the 4th of July every year. I'm gonna go inside. I don't know if there's any filming allowed though. Alright, so we're going to go on to the Harvard campus now and just walk around there. Heading to the pizza tour, Old North Church, which we were at earlier. It's a church for with the uh, candles that were lit in by Paul Revere. We're going to catch the orange line. Here's the subway during rush hour. Okay, today's day two. Um, I didn't really film the hostel yesterday, so I'm gonna take you a uh, look around and film the, the whole facility. And then we're heading out to Salem today. So this is our view from the um, room at the hostel. We got a queen private suite room, really tiny. Pretty much has just uh, the bed. There's a good view of the room right there, bed. TV, basically a closet, and then the uh, restroom over here, full size shower. So for this morning's breakfast, we're grabbing a quick bite at Bova's to have some cannolis. Okay, so you got the 
uh, creme brulee right here and then the other one is the Florentine cannoli. Okay, so we're on our way to Salem. We were supposed to take the ferry, but because of the weather conditions, they canceled the ferry ride. So now we're taking the commuter train up there. So we're heading into the North Station to catch our train. House of Seven Gables, we're gonna go inside the house now. There's our trolley that we were on earlier. It is a hop on hop off, so you can get off at the locations and then they come back around. Um, I think they said every hour, but there's more than one taking the same route. So I'm thinking maybe once they come around like every 30 minutes. House of Gables and we're gonna head over to the uh, witch house for our next museum tour. The witch house of Salem now. We have 30 minutes to get in there to try to do the tour. So for a late lunch, we're eating at the Lobster Shanty. Normally you can walk inside the cemetery here, but during the month of October, because Salem gets so busy, they close it off. So we can't go in there, but I'm gonna go around the side and try to see if I can get some other shots. And these little stoops along the wall right here are these um, witch trial memorials. 
So of all the, I think 19 people that were either hung or pressed. Um, these are just the memorial sites because they actually didn't do it here. So here's a close-up of one of the memorials. And it'll state right here whether if they were hung and pressed, hung or pressed. going to be a Halloween parade which actually I think started at six o'clock which is starting now so everybody's setting up alongside the parade route all the kids are dressed up in costumes us on Salem we're heading back on the train back into Boston morning of day three we're heading out to New Hampshire today we're doing a fall foliage tour um, so we're walking to meet our tour bus all right so this is our bus that we're taking our tour Do a little quick stop here at the um, Johnson, Johnson's restaurant here in Groton. for our lunch buffet. I'll get some more shots of the premises after we eat. So 
salad, um, so we're eating salad, um, steamed veggie, some rice and fish, and butter squash soup. a little earlier just came back to the room for a minute and we're heading out right now to go get some Thai food so my Thai vegan kitchen is where we're getting our Thai takeout Okay, it's our last day here in Boston. Our flight leaves later on this evening. So this morning we're just gonna do a little sightseeing of the stuff that we didn't get to see when we first got here. Um, right now we're coming up on the uh, Massachusetts State House and then after that we're going to a cemetery and then the um, Old South Meeting House. There's this uh, Freedom Trail here all in, in Boston and it goes around to all the historical sites. So it's either like red brick. I think pretty much most of the time it's all red brick. It's not painted. There was one in Salem that was painted red. So here's the Massachusetts State House. I'm not sure if it's how to really pronounce it. Granary Burial. So it's a very popular cemetery. Um, Paul Revere, Samuel Adams were buried here. Um, see if we can actually find their headstone. Revere's headstone. That's the old South, um, the South Meeting House, and this is where basically the talks before the Boston Tea Party broke down and where Sam Adel declares this meeting can do nothing more to save the country. And then from there, that's where the Boston Tea Party started. Quincy Market.
I just finished up the Boston Tea Party ship. Um, that's pretty much it. And I'll head back to the um, hostel to pick up our lug luggage and head to the airport.